Holly Anderson demonstrating a range of knots for fire school. I'm going to do a clove hitch two ways, uh, a square lash, a sheer lash and um, a reef knot. Okay, let's we'll start with the clove hitch. Uh, so I've got some power cord here and I've got some, some rope as well. So clove hitch, if I wanted to tie a clove hitch onto the end of here, two ways to tie a clove hitch. If you've got an open end like this and you can slide a knot on, then you can do this this one and this is how I would teach it. So I've got my length of rope or power cord that I'm going to tie my uh, clove hitch with. I make a loop like a little uh, letter E and then I make another loop exactly the same way. Okay, uh, so two letter E's or could, we could describe this as a fish and a dish and then we put the fish on top of the dish and then we just loop it round so it's not quite big enough to go on there just going to make it slightly bigger so in exactly the same way again two loops the same fish on a dish loop it round and pull both ends you should end up with one piece going over the other two looking like that there we go clove hitch that slides on onto an open end so clove hitch onto a closed piece of wood. Uh, so we, I'll use the same the same bit of wood. We'll just imagine that this is closed at both ends, so I can't just slide it on. Okay. So I'm going to take the uh, the power cord and bring it round the wood once, and then again to make an X. This is how I would teach it. So we've got a cross on the top of the wood. Then bring the working end underneath again and just send it underneath the top section that we've just put in. Pull it through and you end up with the same type of knot. So uh, a piece of power cord going either way and one section over the top. Okay, that's a clove hitch both ways, closed and open. All right, next one is, um, and stick with the power cord, so we'll do our lashing. Okay, so I'm going to do start with a shear lashing, which is to uh, lash two parallel bits um, of wood together. Okay, so we need our clove hitch to start this knot. So again, make a, a clove hitch fish on a dish, put them together. I can just loop them over this one and loop them over one of our uh, sticks that we're going to lash together. Okay, now shear lashing. So I'm going to hold both sticks like this, hope you can see that. I'm just going to loop that loose end around there. I'm going to just wrap, 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 wrap this, these two together just to secure them. You can ignore that loose end for now. So several wraps around, I think I've done five there. Okay. And then to secure these together, I'm going to do frapping turns. So I've gone from my wrap up the back and through the two sticks between them and then I'm going oops, I'm going between them again to pull this tight so these are the frapping twists so in and pull it tight and in again and pull it tight okay so I've got three frapping twists there and then to secure it again, we'll do another clove hitch. So I can't do an open one this time, we'll do a closed one. So I'm going to make my cross on the top here. So I've got my cross there. And then just go up, round and under the top bit to make my clove hitch. Slide the knot up and pull it tight. And there we go, that's my shear lashing and you can use this if you're making some kind of tripod shear lashing to lash two pieces uh, of wood together um, next to each other. Okay, the square lashing is similar but to lash two pieces of wood together at right angles. So we'll do that next. Just going to do this.
Okay, so we're going to use the same bits of wood and I'm going to tie that toe hitch on again in a minute but may as well show the whole process. So I could use this to make a picture frame, sometimes do this with our groups to make a picture frame if they've made a nice piece of nature art they can then on the floor they can put then put a frame around it. So another clove hitch to start my square lashing. Fish on a dish, fish goes on top of the dish and I just pop that onto the end of one of the pieces of wood that I'm lashing together. Okay and then I'm going to ignore this dangly end for now. I'm going to go going to go from my clove hitch and going to go up and over that one at the right angle then underneath the one at a right angle to it and back up and over the same stick and then underneath here and back up and over so I'm following the same pattern so up over the top underneath over the top underneath and keeping it quite tight over the top underneath over and under and then over that one under that one and when I've done that and that's I'm happy with that then I go round under this top stick round and round these are flapping turns so you can pull it tight these are what keep, is going to keep it at a right angle so pull that really nice and tight flapping it round okay okay when I'm happy that that's nice and tight I'm going to tie this off again I can either tie it to the loose end here if I was going to cut this off if it was a piece of string I'm not going to cut my power cord but if I'm just going to put it cut it off I could tie that nice and tight there or I could tie it with another clove hitch on there and then that you can see if I hold it one end and wiggle it around that is really pretty tight onto there so that's square lashing and it looks like that from the front so it looks like a square over the top on this one and, and over the top on that bottom stick okay square lashing I'll do my timber hitch and my tension knot on a separate video thank you ah, I've forgotten before I leave I will do my um, reef knot so put that to one side so reef knot I'll demonstrate with this rope reef knot is for tying two um, two bits of rope together so I've got two bits of rope coloured piece here and a white piece here so I'm going to take the white piece over the top of the coloured one and then wrap it round and then bring them both up above above that loop that I've done and then I'm going to take the white piece over the top again and wrap it round and pull it tight and then it should look like that so that's a reef knot and you can loosen it off by pushing the two loops pushing your hands towards the middle okay so I'll just show you that again if you didn't have two coloured pieces of um, different coloured pieces of rope that's the easiest way I find to teach it to children with two different colours but if you don't have two different colours you can do right over left so we'll go white over coloured and loop and round and then white over coloured and loop and round to make our knot or you could say left left left-handed bit of <laughs> um, rope over the top of that one and under and then the one in the right hand over the top and under so left over right right over left to make a reef knot thank you